We're back at Kerry Taylor Auctions ahead of the October sale, which is happening on Tuesday the 27th. And we're speaking to John Cowell, the textile artist, who's worked on some incredible films, things like Gangs of New York, The Favourite, Les Miserables. He also did some Game of Thrones. And he's selling his menswear collection. It involves some great pieces from people like McQueen and Galliano, Vivian Westwood, and particularly exciting group of Jean-Paul Gaultier designs from the mid 80s into the 90s. To start, John, who first got you excited into actually buying these clothes? Jean-Paul Gaultier, Gaultier seemed to be the first person of fashion as far as I was concerned. Ah, OK. When did you first come across him? I saw it, him on um, the South Bank show. He was on that, mm -hmm. and they he, and he was interesting. He seemed charming and funny and so on. And then um, what actually happened was they had a documentary, and uh, you know they talked about his life. And then you saw the menswear and the womenswear. And at that time, there weren't that many menswear designers who were as well known. The other thing was he put unusual things together, unusual colours and so on. And there were. The clothes always looked like a lot of care had been taken. Gaultier made clothes that you could do things with. This is a real 80s one. You can butt it, button it like that if you want to, you know, with your body going inside. Is there anywhere in particular that you were buying these garments? I, there used to be a shop in um, South Mont Street called Bazaar and uh, I got everything from there. It sold Gaultier. They sold slightly unusual design. I mean, the guys in there were all quite quirky. The buyers were really interesting. Now, Kerry, with 40 years experience, what is it to you that really stands out here? What do you think the big ticket is? Um, in this particular sale, the most exceptional piece, of course, is, is the Poe Ocelot kilt mm -hmm. and printed sweater. Um, and I think a lot of museums will have their eye on that one. What's the estimate? It's 600 to 1,000. Whereas most of the lots are very reasonably priced because um, basically, you know, a lot of it's quite wearable rather than a museum. When it becomes a museum quality piece and the prices rise, mm -hmm. for obvious reasons, there are going to be a lot more people vying for those. The other standouts, John, are your McQueen pieces. Yeah, mm -hmm. so when... McQueen started doing menswear. I bought it right from the start. What attracted you? It's the silhouette and it's it's sometimes what it does on your body. They're also nice shapes as well. Look at that. Wow. That is, that one is fantastic. And then there was one I thought from the Jane collection. Mm. This one, with this slit in the back. I wore that to opening of the film. It might have been the aviator. Mm -hmm. So I had it with like a, a wing collar and a bow tie oh, wow. and everything. And finally, Kerry, what do you think makes this a good menswear collection? I, I think menswear by people like Westwood and Gautier and Galliano. Um, it's exciting. And that's what John has in his collection. People come to me because they're looking for something that's really fun and really exceptional or really early and really rare. They don't come to me to look for mm -hmm. just the normal.